So remember when um, they, you know, everyone at Warner Brothers and DC said, "No, we're not going to release the, you know, we're not going to get a full, give a full release of the, <laughs> of the Suicide Squad trailer out." No, that, no, 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 we're not going to do that. It got leaked enough. But guess what? So many leaks, they were like, "God damn it, just release the damn thing." And here we are now. So I'm going to give my quick thoughts on the Suicide Squad trailer. What do I think of it? Meh. Just, it's not bad. I will say that. It's not bad. I actually had lower expectations for this film. And I've had kind of moderate to low expectations for this film. And that's the same with Superman Batman. Although the Comic-Con trailer made me very hopeful, I still have some reservations about it. But I'm a lot more hopeful for it than I was before. And that's kind of the same thing, the same kind of feeling I'm getting right here with this trailer, is that, well, um, yeah, it's actually... <clears throat> It's actually made me a little more hopeful for this movie. Now, I actually like David Ayer as a, as a director. He's done a few things, Fury and a few other films that I've really enjoyed as cool, hard-hitting action films. And that's what I'm getting the feeling here, is that Ayer just wants to be an action director. And he clearly, has had, he's clearly throughout several tweets and whatnot, he's clearly had a lot, put a lot of love into the Suicide Squad movie. So yay! I'm <laughs> sorry, just like my mind just went, uh, just stopped right there. So, I, I really, I really am kind of like, oh okay, I'm interested. I wouldn't say I'm excited, but I'm interested. Um, so the start, so the trailer starts out with what I guess is General Wade Eiling. I'm guessing that's Wade Eiling talking to uh, Amanda Waller, and they're like, well, I, uh, Waller's kind of saying, well, I want to, you know, there's so many villain, you know, bad guys out there. We can make a team and give total deniability to have these people do jobs for us. So, yeah, and thus the Suicide Squad is born. Now, we'll say this. They do kind of show quick, me you know, quick vi uh, shots of sev uh, several members of the Suicide Squad. Um, Will Smith, I've been meaning to talk about Will Smith as Deadshot. At first, it wasn't like, uh, you know, at first I was like, I don't know, Will. S it's not because Will Smith's black playing, he's, a bl he's an African-American actor playing a white character. It's not that at all. What it is was that I was kind of worried that he was just going to make uh, Floyd Lawton the Jim West of of this series. Like, yeah, he was just going to make... It, he it, Like, I didn't feel like his person... You know, the the personality he has as an actor fit with, uh, with Floyd Lawton, who is this very do-or-die, very just darkly humored kind of character who really has just a death wish on his shoulder. So I did... Uh, so... And I still kind of have some reservations, but I'm kind of like, okay, at least in this trailer, I'm kind of getting the feeling that this is kind of what Floyd Lawton is going to be. You know, he, we do kind of get that, de you know, that do or die kind of uh, sense from uh, from Will Smith. At least I got that. So I'm a little more interested to see Will Smith as Deadshot. I really am. And um, I am like, that's the thing. Like, I also really applaud him for doing like, a full-on Deadshot costume. I'm also kind of hoping he has the wrist guns, because I didn't see them in any of, like, we see him with automatic rifles and whatnot. I'm kind of hoping we have the wrist guns as well. Not ex You know, I'll, I'll tell you who I'm not excited for, for this, um, for this film. And I'll tell you right off the bat. I'm not excited for... It's not Jared Leto's Joker, and I'll get to him. It's not Margaret, Margaret Robbie as Harley Quinn. I'll get to her. And I'll tell you who. Jai Courtney is Captain Boomerang. I am... And it's like, oh, well, you know, he's an actor f trying to find the right thing. I am, you know, after the, the two or three films I've seen him in, he has not done anything to make me change his mind, especially after I, recently seeing him in Terminator Genesis as Kyle Reese. I was like, you are... You should have been a Terminator. You are that boring. But, yeah. I don't know. Like, I'm not excited... And Captain Boomerang is one of my favorite characters, and maybe Jai Courtney can pull things around. I'm just not hopeful. He's, like, the one I have the least expectations for. Um, Margaret Robbie as Harley Quinn. I know the... Co I'm not too crazy about the... You know, kind of go the punk 50s retro style Harley Quinn and obviously doing new 52 Harley Quinn, but I'm at peace with it because, honestly, I'm kind of acknowledging that this is the new 52 like a gritty new, like an even grittier new 52. So I'm kind of just at peace with that at this point. I think she's going to be really good. She's, you know, uh, nominate, you know, uh, she's got several award, act she's an amazing actress. I think she's going to pull it off. And there's actually like a joke where she's fighting Batman on the car and he's, and she's like, I hope you have insurance. And it's like, that's something Harley would say. I actually like, I appreciate that. Cause that even like, like that's something Harley Quinn, not like new 52 Harley Quinn, but Harley Quinn, like, the way we knew her in the past, um, 
That's how I, you know, that's something she would say, so I was like, that's funny. <laughs> um, who else? Got to see Killer Croc real quick. I was like, I like the, uh, I don't know if that's like uh, CG, I think it's a mixture of motion capture and practical effects. I think that's what they're doing for Killer Croc. So I was like, I like the design of Killer Croc. Also like Katana. God, I love ka the Katana costume. Although I gotta say, Arrow's Katana was actually like dead, like it walked out of the comics level. This is more modern take, and don't get me wrong, I like this just as much, but I feel like I kind of was like, I like I like the Arrow the arrow one better. Could we have copy and pasted that one? I don't know. But the costume, the, the katana, having Katana in here is really cool. I think is really cool. Let's get to Jared Leto's Joker. Uh, still not crazy about the multiple tats. I initially thought, because a lot of people said, oh, this is just to commemorate Joker's 75th anniversary, because this year is Joker's 75th anniversary as a character. So everyone kind of assumed, yeah, the, the tattoos were just for that. But nope, they're there. Um, but wait, back up. let me back up and say that I am very interested. I'm still, like, still have very high expectations for Jared Leto's Joker, because Jared Leto, again, fantastic actor, and he's really clearly put a lot of effort into this uh, character. You know, all the, you know, the time he's talked about him, the time, you know, he's shown, like, he's willing to, you know, he had a huge beard. He shaved that right off, cut his hair. He is very willing to, you know, give his all in this character. Hopefully you won't have, you won't give your everything. Hopefully you, I'm praying you don't go the route of Heath Ledger. I hope this doesn't destroy you. I really, because this is a, you know, the Joker is a hard role to play. Because he is just so imbalanced, and you clearly see that he's imbalanced here. Not too crazy about the tats, but having said that, you know, tattoos aside, I am very excited to see Jared Leto as the Joker. If anything else, I can't wait to see Jared Leto as the Joker face off with Bre Ben Affleck's Batman, who, yeah, it does look like he's going to be in here. Really curious to see how he's go how they're going to play Batman in this trailer on in uh, trailer in this film on a whole. That's what I'm really interested about the most is that I'm really curious to see where they're going to go with Ben Affleck's Batman and where and why is he you know why what's Batman's point in here we also see some people wearing Batman masks committing crimes and I'm also the other thing is like what's going to make you know what is so bad that has made Waller decide to put the Suicide Squad together that's the other thing I want to know about like what was something stolen did someone get assassinated are we doing like an evil version of Ghost Protocol here <laughs> you know, so many things that you know you want, you, you really want answered. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, other than that, I'm really excited for this. I, <laughs> I cannot tell you guys enough how excited I am. Uh, well, actually, not excited. That's I'm interested. It's got me a lot more hopeful. I wouldn't say excited. Um, it's got me a lot more hopeful for this trailer. Just like how the Comic Con trailer for Batman for BVS got me, in, you know, more hope for the trail for the movie itself. And this movie is coming out in the same year, so, you know, again, I, I find it weird that, you know, the two biggest characters in DC are finally meeting on the big screen, along with Wonder Woman, you got the whole trinity there, and you follow up with Suicide Squad. That's, that's your follow-up movie? Okay, DC, I hope you know what you're doing. <laughs> anyway. Um... But yeah, again, really interested to see where this is going to go. I think they got some good people for these, you know, everyone's been cast pretty well. Uh, the one I'm, again, least expectations for is Jai Courtney as Captain Boomerang, and I do have some reserves towards um, the actress playing Enchantress, because she, you know, and it's not because, you know, and uh, cause this is her first film, and, uh, but having said that, like, she also said some very negative things about comic book films on a whole, and, you know, the fandom itself, so... I was kind of like, you kind of hit some points. You lost some points with me. But, everything on a whole, this has got me very interested in the, su in the Suicide Squad film. So, yeah. I will go see it. This has made me go, okay, I want to go see this film now. Th and that's the point. And, and that's where, as a trailer, it succeeds. It's like, because that's the whole point of the trailer, to get you to see the movie. And guess what? It got me interested enough to want to go see the film. Hell, my dad wants to see this film, and he doesn't know jack shit about Suicide Squad. <laughs> when I, like, I just told, like, it's funny. Like, we were watching, uh, yesterday, the Batman vs. Superman Comic-Con trailer, and he, and I, and my brother brought up, hey, you know about Suicide Squad coming out? And my dad's like, what's Suicide Squad? And I told him the premise of what Suicide Squad is, the whole villains being black ops for... Uh, you know, basically being black op, you know, a black ops team for the government doing, you know, 
more or less Black Ops missions off the off the book, and he's like, that is so fucking cool. So he didn't even he hadn't seen the tra- I don't even yeah I don't even think he's seen the trailer yet, but I'm gonna show him and yeah he'll probably be excited after seeing this. Um. <laughs> uh, but yeah. <laughs> Anyway, so you guys tell me, what do you guys think of the Suicide Squad trailer? Are you guys excited? Are you guys not excited? Um, what do you think of the act- all the actors playing them? Re- I think the two like I have the most expect, like the highest, ex- like the highest, um, like the ones I'm most excited for. Really, in truth, actually, are Jared. Because I, I, I even tattoos and and stuff aside, um, I still want to see Jared Leto's Joker. And uh, I'm pretty sure Will Smith's gonna, you know, do a really good job as flo- as a uh, Deadshot. So those are the two like biggest ones. Margaret Robbie is Harley Quinn, like that's third place. But the two biggest are, Je- are Deadshot and, and Joker's. Perf- you know, Jared Leto and Will Smith is Deadshot and Joker. Anyway, so once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later. <laughs>